worldwide, close to 90% of goods travel to destination by sea, a percentage value that will further increase continuously. This forecast implies a growth in maritime traffic at sea and at inland waterways, and therefore an increased risk of maritime accidents. Currently, human factors account in part for 75 to 96 percent of casualties, so that there is an obvious need to avoid a surge in the latter due to the rise in traffic. The waterborne community is aware of the limitations in the capacity of the infrastructures such as ports, rivers, channels, locks, and their access areas, which bring restrictions to the overall traffic situation. In this context, the maritime and inland communities are demanding new supporting tools in order to enhance the efficiency in navigation. Ariadna brings in the opportunity to accomplish the mentioned goals based on volumetric navigation concept through the use of GNSS technologies and the application of the latest information and communication technologies, ICT, to navigation in the maritime and inland sectors. This new navigational supporting tool will allow a safer navigation for all vessels while reducing human error, thus acting as another filter in accident avoidance. The revolutionary so-called volumetric navigation concept applied onto maritime and inland waters traffic is based on the development of a collaborative navigation tool that implements virtual safety volume envelopes, which are geo-referenced, and Ariadna so does. The system associates Ariadna volumes to vessels and infrastructures, sharing and managing volumetric information among all the actors and elements involved in the specific coverage area. Although in many vessels, ship information is already transmitted via AIS, Ariadna proposes to introduce a new system where the position of the ship is defined by a safety volume envelope based on the implementation of the volumetric navigation concept. The geo-referenced safety volume provided by Ariadna is designed to be displayed on an ECDIS viewer, which supports the user to decide how to optimize the use of infrastructures, i.e. locks, ports, canals, and guide all parties involved in a safe way, facilitating escape maneuvering and thus also avoiding collisions and groundings.